you get a project, uh, you get the briefing, start working on it and you show it to your teacher or tutor a few times before you hand in the final thing. Every fashion school does that, right? So what makes CSM so much better? One more video before the end of the year. Uh, I wish you happy 2020 way too soon on the, the last one. So let me go back to something I've mentioned many times already. I was absolutely clueless about portfolios. Um, thank God I got to do a whole year of fashion polio because that was the first time I got to learn about developing a creative process and the first time I heard about this design development thing and that's not surprising since I had the extreme opposite at my first school, Punka Fashion College. We all had the exact same steps to follow in order to complete a predetermined garment. We showed each step to the teacher as we completed them to either get a stamp if it was right or no stamp if it was wrong in which case we had to go back redo that step and come back for approval it's not a bad system system's the key word here so it's not a bad system if you remember that Bunka Fashion College is not an arts and design school Bunka is a technical school with uh, a very structured method of, of teaching how to make garments like a skirt, a shirt, a pair of trousers, a tailor jacket. And the teachers are masters of this bunker system and they can teach ver these very hands-on skills to classes of 50 or more students. Unfortunately, what most fashion schools do are neither here nor there. They don't teach you the craft of making clothes and they also don't come out of there producing really outstanding work because most schools uh, don't have any systems and also the teachers there are also not great designers themselves. But is that bad? I would say not really. If you think this is what your path should look like, you go to uni. Get a degree and only then you can get an entry-level design job just look at what 99 percent of uh, what the fashion and apparel industry is doing you don't need to achieve mastery of anything to uh, design uh, printed t-shirts and hoodies on illustrator or copy paste whatever it is that the influencers are are wearing these days and that's not just about getting a job in fast fashion like you can start as an intern or as shop staff learn on the job climb up the the corporate ladder make good connections and and in time you can get the high profile job you want at a fancy designer brand you'd not be the first person to do that so i'm sure it's possible but in its core Please don't misunderstand me here. In its core, CSM is not about shaping you for the industry because it's an art school. No art school, no good art school is about that. You don't go to CSM to perpetuate what's already out there. Ideally, you go there to develop your own thing, your own process, your own aesthetics, and even your own point of view. Or as we like to brag, we don't follow trends, we create them. So here's the magic. This is what CSM is made of. One, you. You go there to develop what's already so great and so unique about you. <laughs> Two, your tutors who are ready to put their personal taste aside, the industry hype aside, and really get the best work you can produce. Awesome, right? The flip side is your tutors are also going to look at your work with very critical eyes. Why is this image here? How does this go with the rest of your research? You have some fabulous research and you don't even know how to use it. 
and now you're already jumping to something else completely different. Why haven't you worked with fabric as I suggested? You're too afraid of taking any risks and instead you're wasting time making these ghastly sketches. These models you're drawing, is that really your muse? Is that the woman you see will wear your clothes? Would you really wear this design? Do you really want those things hanging from your titties? If only you were copying the brands you say you like instead of making these old lady ball gown. Tutorials at CSM can be pretty brutal, and but let's be honest, nobody in this day and age needs to be taught how to make PowerPoint presentations. And you can learn some basic fashion drawing skills from YouTube tutorials, like how to draw a t-shirt, how to draw it on Illustrator, how to make a fashion figure. And uh, these basic skills you need to practice on your own anyway. So think of a tutorial as your golden chance to get the perspective of someone who is extremely knowledgeable, who's done this countless time and who's standing outside of your creative turmoil and can help you see you clearly so that you know like what you can ditch for good and what you should really focus on in order to become the best you that you could be. Meaning if you're not good at something and you're trying to force it because you have some preconceived ideas about what the designer should do, they're gonna tell you. Now, standing in a teacher position is a big responsibility. And uh, I'm not saying that CSM tutors are such angels. They're fucking BS busters. And sometimes uh, it feels like they just love to smush your BS in your face. When you're not familiar with this approach, it's easy to take it personally and get very defensive. And I'm speaking from my own experience. I had the hardest time at CSM and you might too. So my wish for you is that once you're in, you can keep an open heart and uh, appreciate all the ups and downs and downs and downs and downs and downs of this experience because you made this choice. You decided that you need the CSM qualification no matter what. Own it. Because it is exciting to see how much progress you get to make and the CSM name still opens a lot of doors. I get it. I made that decision after all. And I promise you, the same tutors that gave you the hardest time are also really happy to see you grow. I mean, they were probably the first ones to really see potential in you and really believe in you. But wait, how can you detect your own BS in your own portfolio? Seems like I have my work cut out for me for at least two more videos. This is what happens when you decide to take a project seriously, so choose wisely. As usual, stick around, subscribe, comment, let, uh, tell me what you want to know. But if you have a plan already, you're determined, you know your deadlines and you can't wait for someone on the internet to create the tutorial you need, I got you covered. Check the link to know how you can work with me and um, I'll see you next time. Bye.